there from the ship of the Ryan Harvey here. I like to take the time now that my dogs finish eating to make a video response about food. And um, the housekeeping, I'm smoking in my Golden Gate on the Korean pipe some plum cake. Dan will say that the taste of this tobacco is peculiar and I'll have to agree peculiar indeed uh, but I like it I, I enjoy it and since I let it dry quite a bit uh, it's it's it, kept, it keeps on going very easy a very easy smoke but it does have a very peculiar taste all right uh, on the topic on hand this is going to be a video response to Jay's um, question about um, food stories. What's the hottest, spiciest food that you have ever had? And that happened here in Korea. You got to understand that uh, in Colombia we do eat spicy food, but we we have like separate not all our food like Mexican food uh, all of them or most of it is a spicy in a case the the spicy you put it on kind of like a um, like you put on salt or, or pepper you put on the spicy part which we call ahi Veronica no but you're going no come back okay So bear in mind that Monica and I had this experience, this is a story here in Korea, but um, a couple of years back in Colombia we were in a Mexican restaurant owned by Mexican people and we asked for where we're eating and we're having uh, the spicy that they, they have and we complained that it wasn't spicy at all, that it was too mild. So they brought us the, the spiciest one. And we still said like, no, but this is not really spicy. I mean, we want to be really, really hot. So they brought us the one that, with the one that they eat. And no, it was a joke for us. Or perhaps since we just gradually increased the level of spicy or tolerance, uh, we could stand that one without too much of a trouble. But I don't know, we, we felt very proud of it. Now, Korean food is, is spicy in general terms. If, if you visit Korea and you see something red, it's a spicy. And although it's a different kind of a spice, still quite spicy. Now, I had Sri Lankan food, I had Pakistani food, Indian food, which they were quite spicy. But the story of the spiciest of all, of all come with some meat. It was summer, three years ago, and we were looking for a restaurant on a Sunday, and everything was closed. And nearby another university, which is uh, about um, a couple of miles away from here, we we saw a restaurant open and it's one of these barbecue places in, in South Korea uh, in the term is of South Place and basically you you grill your, your meat right in front of you, you do it yourself and we were both in the mood of a spicy Monica is always, um, rarely, but that was one of the days and sure enough uh, we saw some poster um, um, nice looking piece of, of of meat and it was totally red like absurd red and we said we want that uh, we we couldn't speak Korean we still can't and the owner she said uh, me wo yo that's something that I, I understood at that time and that was a, a spicy oil, very spicy and we were all extra confident big mistake like sure sure we can take it don't worry we like spicy food Korean food is fantastic which I have to say I like it 
and we have no problem with the spicy. They brought that piece of iron, red iron. Oh gosh, the first bite we knew like, oh, oh, <laughs> all that confidence went throw out of the window and hell if it was hard to finish it like really really hard like we were both sweating and crying and like oh my god water of course wouldn't help it's one of the I don't know the most compelling experiences of humidity that we ever had uh, ever had and ever possible have with respect to food and as you may well know everything that comes hot let's say that it goes hot <laughs> and surely enough we both were suffering uh, so oh my goodness it was it was really really hard the, the pride that we had at that time forced us to finish it but I've never been close to that restaurant and I walk by from time to time and every time I pass by I'm like oh my god it hurts in so many levels so so many levels never tried it again and I, I certainly never will okay I'm sorry it took so long but that's the story I hope you enjoy it as always my friends before we wait